In this example, we will learn how to make forecasts for time series data that have some kind of trend. Here we have bicycle sales data over 10 years, and we'd like to predict the sales for the next couple of years, you know, years 11, 12, and 13. Let's first plot the data. We're going to create a line chart with this, the sales data. And this get the one with a line with markers. Now there's all this blank space uh, here below the line, so we may want to let the vertical axis start around 15 instead of at 0. You can do that by going to the Format Axis on dialog box. That is, we click on one of these numbers on the labels on the vertical axis, then double click. Now we have the Format Axis dialog box. Here we're in the Axis Options part of the uh, dialog box. Then for the minimum bound, maybe we would choose 15 instead of 0. We could see that these bicycle sales have mostly upward kind of trend, so it would make sense to uh, try to fit a regression line on this. You already know that a simple linear regression model looks like this. Y hat is equal to the intercept as b sub 0 plus the slope b sub 1 times x. In the forecasting context, we want to see how the y values depend on the time period. So the independent variable is a time period t, and going with the f to denote the forecast, we could write the model like this. f sub t forecast for time period t is equal to intercept plus slope times the time period. You already know how to find the intercept and the slope for a regression model. For instance, you could insert a trend line here and ask for the corresponding equation. Also, you could use Excel functions like intercept and the slope uh, to find the values. And another way is to use Excel's data analysis tool pack to run a regression. Let's do a quick review of these methods with this example. There. Now, this is a line chart, not a scatter chart but uh, we could still insert a trend line just the way we did with a scatter chart. So click on one of these points and then right click and add trend line. And go to linear display equation on chart. There's the equation. Okay, so it looks like the the intercept is 20.4 and the slope is 1.1. Now the second way, the intercept and the slope functions. I'm going to put some labels here. Intercept, and then uh, I already see it appearing here, so I'm going to hit tab just to uh, complete the function. And so here the important thing was to, you got to put the y values first, followed by the x values. So y values, comma, and the x values, which are the years, the time periods. And the same kind of thing for the slope, y values, sales, followed by the year, the time periods. Okay, so we could see that we get the same values, 1.1 for the slope and the 20.4 for the intercept. A review of the third way, go to data, data analysis, find the regression, y range, that's the sales, along, you know, include the labels, and the in x range, that's the years, and check labels, and maybe put it somewhere over here. I'll put range here and I say OK. And we could see, again, we get the same values. 
Okay, so we are asked to forecast the sales for years 11, 12, and 13. So we'll put the results here. 11, 12, 13, and sales is, okay, 20.4 dollar sign plus 1.1 dollar sign times 11. Okay, so and then I could just copy this down by dragging. So here are the forecasts. Remember these sales forecasts are the result of projecting, extrapolating the trend line into the future. So it's kind of like going, extending it like this now for years 11, 12, and 13. So here, you know, and here, and here. So here are the y value at this point, and that was 32.5, and this point it was 33.6, and then 34 point, and and so forth. Now remember the sales here are in thousands of units, so the sales forecasted would be these values multiplied by 1,000. So like in year 11, we expect to sell 32,500 bicycles. In year 12, 33,600, and so on. And about the average annual growth rate in sales, and so here the question is, so we're asking compared to, let's say this year and the next year, how many more bicycles do you expect to sell? And then we could get it just by looking at the slope. So remember the slope here, 1.1 represents the increase in the y per unit increase in x. Uh, or in this case, uh, the x is the year. And so every year, the expected increase is 1.1. So that is, we expect the sales to increase by 1.1 each year on the average. Again, since the sales are in thousands of units, uh, the 1.1 corresponds to 1.1 times 1,000 uh, units, or 1,100 units. And so here we would say um, annual growth rate in sales is 1,100 bicycles per year.